All right, so here is the thing. Here's the thing that's so crazy to me is when something happens with the Dallas Cowboys, it is like it only happens with the Dallas Cowboys. I am literally amazed that the Eagles fan base is literally watching every single Never move, seen nothing like every that. play, and microanalyzing it. In fact, that every analyst out there is going crazy. Okay. Uh, is, get up and I'm okay. That every analyst out there is going through. You know, you have Dan Orlowski. I'm concerned about, you know, what, what the Cowboys have done to Dak Prescott. Why are we looking like twins? I don't know, man. I, I mean, I got my Joe Boo star here. You got your Cowboys. I'm looking clean. I knew that. Uh, hair's a little yeah. bit. Okay. But everything that happens with practice, okay? So, it's funny because everybody's going crazy about Dak Prescott and Diggs because everybody heard Diggs basically say, shut your bitch ass up. And they're going through all oh, the disrespect that they have for the quarterback. That yeah. would never happen, you know, with other quarterbacks and stuff. And we've seen Josh Allen literally get in fights. We've seen Cam Newton getting in fights and stuff. And, and, you know, the thing is, is how many other camps have you actually seen micromanage like this? That every play out there, because trust me. I didn't see much yesterday, Mark, about what happened. But well, it, here's for, listen, I'm not. I haven't looked at Eagles practice once. I, I was trolling on Twitter mm -hmm. when somebody said about Jalen Hurts. At the end of the day, you're there to practice. I could care less what you do. I, I really could. Um, I hope everybody stays healthy, man. I, I mean, that's on the Eagles as well. But I don't care. Or I don't eat, sleep, drink what the Eagles are doing. I'm worried about getting our team ready to go. Well, so. according to Dak Prescott, here's what Dak says. He said, probably J. Ron Curse is the biggest trash talker out on the team. And I'm probably second. And basically, I'm usually starting stuff. And this is where I said yesterday, I said, I'm looking at the situation that, you know, people are acting like, you know, uh, that, that Diggs is like going through and like he's your daddy. Like, shut your bitch up. No. If you looked at what was going on and understand what happened, yeah. Dallas Cowboys offense was giving the defense the business. They were in the end zone 12 times. The red zone, they were like five or six. And so if you notice where Dak Prescott was standing, he was standing there in the end zone. He was standing there in the end zone and probably said, are you guys going to ever stop us? Yeah. Are, you, are you ever going to? Yeah. And he's going to say, man, shut your bitch out with us. Because, because the Cowboys offense was eating them. Well, I they watched, were beating the hell I out. did watch a video this morning. And um, just getting to that particular thing, not to mention that Dak is wearing a red jersey. Defense can't hit him. So whatever Dak said after he scored, you know, there's bodies all around. And the mm -hmm. game probably would have been lit up. But Dak was doing what Dak does. But I saw a video this trash morning talking. where Dix was talking about Dak being the first one in the building, the last one to leave. Mm -hmm. Never had a teammate like him ever. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the ultimate you know, professional. He even said it was him and Carson sitting there, and they said, I don't know that I would be the first and last. Uh, you know, everybody's out for themselves. Meaning, Dave has to take care of his family. Mikey has to take care of his family. Mm -hmm. But not Zach Prescott. Zach Prescott is the ultimate teammate and is a selfless person. So Taking his whole offense, basically, to Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, to, uh, to sum it up, as far as this, it's not it's, it's nothing. My it's take nothing is... All you know, to do about nothing. Actually, that he here's what I will actually say is I like it. You know, sometimes the coaches will inject and try to get the players to fight and have that disagreement because, you know, you get that anger and that passion and stuff behind it. And see, in today's football, you have uh, what always bothers me when a player signs with a team, they never take, like, personal ownership of it. They'll say, I'm here to help right. this team. It's never my team. And, you know, a lot of guys look at it like it's just a straight business. Well, that's what Dak, that's unfortunate. They, they're taking that personally. Unfortunately for us, Dak Prescott is not that type. He, is, he wants to be all in. It's not just a, mm -hmm. it's a business. But once that's taken care of and, it, and you, you've done your business, then it's about team. And it's one goal, is coming together as a team and winning. Have they won a Super Bowl? No. It's very hard to do that. Um, but uh, he's going about it the right way. Yeah. Um, 
I, I like it myself because that means they're going after it, okay? Yeah. They're caring about what happens in practice and how they look as opposed to, okay, hey, buddy, hey, great play. No, screw that, yeah. okay? I'm more in the fan draw. I am old school football, okay? The offense, they're not my buddies. They're not my buddies. My job is to stop them. So, you know, we think that, oh, they're teammates. Yeah, they're teammates when it comes Sunday, but not in practice, yeah, no. okay? I'm on the defense. Well, you, you looking good makes me look bad. Well, you, it's a good transition because that's why they don't really want to play anybody else mm -hmm. this you know, preseason. Because Dak realizes, and this is not a slight to any other team, but you get all the BS and the pushing and the shoving, all the mm -hmm. extracurricular that you don't need when your practices are what, limited? Yeah. Your you don't practice have time practices. is limited. It is ultra, ultra segmented and limited and go, go, yeah. go. No open practice today. So, and he said, all due respect, we have more talent on this defense that I'd rather go against than most other. Now, he's not, mm -hmm. he's not slamming anybody, but he said, as fast as my defense is, I'd rather play against them. Right. If we can beat them, mm -hmm. we won't be good. Iron sharpens iron. The thing that is crazy is, is again, Things that happen with the Cowboys, everybody acts like it's the only thing that happens. That every other training camp out there, that there's not this, that there's this disrespect that Dak Prescott got going. You know, I have to say, y'all need to get life, okay? It's crazy. It is crazy. Um, the fact that I'm sitting here live streaming, and at the same time that Philly 500 is, and here it is, I've got all these Eagle fans that are watching my channel. It's just like, dude. Y'all are so worried about the Dallas Cowboys. You are so in your head that no, it doesn't matter. You can go through and say, you know, you're talking about you're talking about how bad Dak Prescott is, but then when you say he's eight and three against you guys, oh, but you you you, you, you re return that on. Oh yeah, well, you know, he doesn't win in the playoffs. Okay, but, but how about we talk about between you and me? If you're going to say that he's trash, and, and for the Washington fan out there, that's literally talking about my quarterback. you the last dude that needs to be talking about somebody's quarterback. Yeah. 34 starting quarterbacks since the last time you won a Super Bowl. I don't think they're worried about us. Man. This is what I think. You live in an area. You remember Philly 500 meltdown. You play it on your show all the time. You know how he just snapped on a moment's notice. Yeah. It has nothing to do with the Cowboys or fear. I don't think they fear the Cowboys. They are just sniffing themselves so much. Are they doing this to the Commanders? No, but I, are they doing this to no, the Giants? That, that's a good call. But they're sniffing themselves so much, and they know that they like to get under our skin. They're trolling. That's what they're doing. They're trolling, but. They will snap. They are either all in or Howie's. I I fire Howie, right? Isn't yeah. that what Philly said? True. I, I would fire Howie. Well, because okay. they only accept excellence. So let's say the defensive line doesn't get off to a good start for the Eagles, or Jordan Davis can't they stay off the buffet line, or or the Kobe hurt. Dean is not. The good. Kobe Dean can't stay healthy or stay on the field. Whatever. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but there are options. They haven't they performed at the NFL level yet mm -hmm. for any length of time. So if that happens, what are you going to do? You're going to start throwing Howie under the bus for not re-signing Javon Hargrave. If the safety stinks, you're going to throw him for not you know, re-signing C.J. Gardner-Johnson. That's how the Eagles fans are. They're going to snap. I hear you on that. They're going to snap. But say again, you know, if they just feel that we are so superior to them, they're then, flexing then, right now. Then, okay, and that, that, that yeah. we're nobody, then they would be treating the commanders and the Giants I agree the same with that. way. You're right, that's a good okay? point. Okay, I mean, they're not talking about, you know, yeah. Washington, you are ass, ass, you stink, you know, your front office, you're a couch boy. They only go after the guys. Did you say cap boy? Couch boy. Oh, that's couch what, boy. That's the only thing. You woke that's up in the, 500 well, in the middle of your boy. dream last night, you were just like, cap boy. I didn't know what was going on. You were, you were speaking of Stephen Jones in the dream. Uh, does that mean a deal is going to happen with Zach Martin or what? Look, you know the numbers out there. I want to see this dude suffer. <laughs> 500 <laughs> subscribers gets him to eat that damn Yeah, tell him about shit. the idiot move I did last night. About saying that? Yeah. That, no, that, I deleted my live stream oh, from the bar yesterday. Well, I thought it was another video, and I deleted it because it wasn't downloading. And now nah, it's gone. YouTube newbie. I'm an idiot. Or 
he's been around an idiot and it's filtering on him. Right. But um, yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm at 327. There you go. Okay, so 173 away from eating the chip. No, so if you want to see pain, I'm sorry. If you want to see pain and see him eat the chip, and have to drive home with it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Three-hour drive. You get him to 500. With but, multiple stops. But all seriousness, it doesn't matter what I say. It is uh, the Cowboys on steroid talk. Okay? That's all that sells. I take it as a That's bad all monster. That's all that sells. I do. Well, Jerry Jones created this monster. Yeah, you're right about that. You know, that. with the open society of... You know, open practices where they can look at it. I don't care if you're positive or negative as long as you're talking about it. Yep. That's because all I care about. Jerry Jones likes to stir shit he up. He likes the money. Like, like shirts like this. All right, so we're going to go spend another $40 to go see the Pro Football Hall of Fame. We'll do that. We will have our live stream tonight, and we're having a special guest that he let the cat out of the bag of. I don't um, know. I don't know who it is. No, okay, okay. Yeah. Now, Space is going to join us. Listen, yeah. man, it's good to promote a little bit. You yeah, know? definitely. If, if you like Space Cowboy, mm -hmm. you know, retweet it, you know, share it. He's going to be on tonight. He's a buddy of mine. He's uh, got a lot of knowledge. So, uh, Amen. It's always yeah. good to add plus, you know. He's going to be from a landline. Hopefully, we have a good signal wherever we're at. So, I think we'll be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mark's got all the equipment, so I think we're good. Do we want to do it here, or do we want to try and be someplace? No, no. We'll have to. Friday night, it might be a little more crowded. Yeah. We might want to be in a quieter spot. We'll go back to that top of the joint. That was dead. <laughs> that was funny. Wait a minute. What's it called? Blue Guave? I don't know what it was. But so we walked it not, in it's not it like the like, Blue Oyster Club. I thought I was walking into the Blue Oyster Club. From Police, da, 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 okay. da, da, da. Police Academy, the Blue Oyster yeah, Club. Gone back. <laughs> he looked at us like we had two heads. Like, this uh, is the sports park. It's like, yeah, this is not it. It's like, okay, so then we drove 10 miles out of the way. It wasn't to bad. It might have been better off staying at the taco place. Nah, I thought it was good. I bet, you, I bet you they had good tacos. I bet you they did. Better than those, the, the hash brown. All right, so we're going to be going over the Hall of Fame. We'll show you some of the sights and the sounds and all the busts and stuff. That we'll are go live sometime there. this afternoon. We will go live from inside of the Hall of Fame. I don't know any YouTubers that have done that. That would be groundbreaking. I wonder if it's legal. I don't know. To promote the Pro Football Hall of Fame? I don't know. I can't yeah, I see guess. why it wouldn't be. Take a selfie stick and just walk around in your live. Okay. Or something and say, here. <laughs> You're looking live. It's sold yeah. out. Hall of Fame. No, but then again, the NFL might say, hey, they didn't pay to come see. Exactly. <laughs> you know the NFL wants every every nickel. They literally turn you upside down and shake the chains. I'm going to say this real quick before we leave. I was surprised that how they handled it last night. The security was next to nothing. Um, Don't say that. <laughs> we get somebody here that crazy. Let's go blow up the Pro Football Hall of Fame and really screw up the stage. No, they had security, but I mean, it wasn't, They, you know, normally it's like, it was really loose, but. I think of, that was because the system, they, they were messed up, it was yeah. messed up. Well, I hadn't been there before, so I was the metal but they took cash, which normally at an NFL event. But mm -hmm. like you said, it's not owned by the NFL. No, it's not. So that's why. There was cash. We're allowed to spend cash. Everybody thinks it's the end. It wasn't quite as pricey as other things. Mark was a little taken back by the ten dollar beers, but that's actually cheap. No, that's, that, that's, no I, 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 we don't drink. I the just wouldn't so spend ten dollars. In Delta, we didn't drink the beer. So I, oh, but but the nine dollar coke was maybe better. No, but it, at least it quenched your thirst. You know, I'm not going to a pro. This, this is just me. I'm not going to a pro football game and buying the drinks and the, the, the food and all that because you'll spend a hundred dollars and still be hungry. I could ahead of time and maybe having a couple before the game, but not. Oh, once you go in, man, nah, I'm locked That's in. why I tailgate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it wasn't bad at all. I was actually surprised at it. They didn't have as much memorabilia. I was hoping you would have thought that that would be an opportunity like it the well, NFL draft to have this, some this signed is where, stuff. This is where I'm going to be interested because um, going down there, Last year when we were, or two years ago when we were there, they had actually autograph signing tents and they had that all day Friday and Saturday yeah, I'm and stuff. Like that. About that. And then they had like merchandise tents and it looked like there were some tents set up last night that are in front of the Hall of Fame. Okay. So there's probably more stuff that's there. Um, that would so, be a fast way to make a buck is 
has because of course the like NFL the sort of wear like the sign on the two hundred helmets, one of two hundred, mm -hmm. whatever. I don't know. You well, call. they do that at the autograph side. I know. So they yeah. go after they do the you know actual signings well, that's what with I'm fans. Go when you then they go in the back and they sign a million things and all that yeah. and shipped out. I'm just gonna wait because I bought a special helmet. I really don't want to buy a helmet for D Wear, but if the Dorset was here, I would buy a Dorset. It was a cool helmet. Tony, Tony's here, son. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I'm not. We're not staying late. We're getting. We're getting out of dodge. The thing I wonder though, because they have it for two hours for the autograph signings, and they've got basically everybody. I don't know how you're getting everybody through these lines. But then again, maybe because it's after the induction ceremony, they know it's most not going to be, be leaving. So I don't know. Maybe that, and maybe that's by design that they're not trying to tax a lot yeah. of these older players. All right, that's all we have for you guys right now. We'll analyze what happened yesterday in practice, not not not, not the game. game, not the game, not the game that we love. Practice, and uh, we'll get back to you on that. See. Uh, how many interceptions? You know, all we need to do is just look at the Eagles site. They'll have all of the breakdowns of everything that happened. Yeah. Bad well, I, know I'm, I think you even rattled off stats of Jalen Hurts. I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, he's got 77 Where's stats. Where's the stats of him getting blindsided by an actual defender? No, there aren't there because you're not allowed to hit the quarterback. You're not allowed to hit the quarterback. Just stop mm -hmm. with the stats, please. Okay. But he's had four touchdowns Whatever, and zero man. interceptions. Whatever. Well, all right, then you know what that tells me? I guess uh, you're only starting, four touchdowns. You're starting cornerbacks must not be up to par. I know Brad well, he's a running is. back though. Yeah, right. That's no, a cornerback. Oh, your cornerbacks, but only four. Big wait, play, wait, play. Play. About in practice. In all of the practices, you only have four touchdown bats. All right. I'm sorry. We don't watch the Eagles. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Peace.